Hello, photographers. My name is Spiros Haniatis, and this is where I answer your photography questions, and we learn about photography together. And it's Friday. We've got our last question of the week today, which comes from Stephen Clark, who says he was out shooting, and he got home, and all the shots were exposed nicely for the sunrise, like this right here, but the dunes were underexposed. And when he says underexposed, he says, I mean black. And then he says, I was bummed out, but then I decided to, do, to go into Lightroom and to make three virtual copies and change the exposure of each of those copies to expose for the shadow areas, the dunes, and then the mid-tone areas, and then the sunrise, and then merge these into an HDR. So he says, why haven't I heard of doing this before? Why do we take three or five or more images and then aligning them later instead of just taking one image and making virtual copies and changing the exposures and using those to merge as HDR. The reason that people take these brackets, as they're called, to take the multiple exposures, is you get more data in each of those photos. See, when you take your single image, and you have an area that's underexposed, and you have an area that's overexposed, yes, in Lightroom, you can recover some of that detail, and you can do it in pretty extreme fashions using things like the exposure slider and the highlights or the shadow sliders and things like that. But here's the deal. When you use these Lightroom tools, if you push them too far, then you see image degradation. One of the areas you'll see it in is in the shadow areas of the image. If you take a shadow area and you take that shadow slider and you pull it all the way up to 100, if you zoom in on that shadows area, it's gonna be incredibly noisy and the details are going to be a little bit mushy. Now, if you're okay with that in your HDR shot that you're trying to create, that's fine, but if you want clean detail in that area, then you would want to take a shot in the field that exposes for that area and captures the brightness and the colors and the vibrance and the details without all of that extra noise and garbage that you get when you use the software to pull that data out. So it's all about getting as much information as we can get so that we have a clean final photo with consistent noise in the areas where we want noise or lack of noise in the areas where we don't want noise for clean crisp, bright, beautiful photos. Doing it with a single photo and creating copies is fine as long as you understand the limitations of what you get and if you're happy with the results then keep doing it. There's no problem with that. But generally speaking it's a better practice to get that bracket of photos because you've got the exposure for each area and you've got the actual detail captured and you've got a lot more latitude to work with when you create your HDR shot. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this question and the answer I gave you. If you have questions you want me to answer, leave them down in the comments and then do me a favor. Would you like this video and subscribe to my channel? If you really like this video, maybe share it with your friends. But the most important thing you need to do is get out there, take some damn photos, whether it's one or five. I'll see you guys next week. So it's all about getting as much information and proper or correct. <clears throat> so it's all about getting as much information as we can. <laughs> oh my God. <clears throat>